Wow. Thank you so much, everyone. I am so honored to be standing here with my castmates. Please make some noise for my castmates here. <laughs> I am deeply honored to accept this Trailblazer Award on behalf of Orange is the New Black and on behalf of, of a cast of some of the most dynamic women ever portrayed on television. Yes. I, I want to thank our, our inimitable creator, our goddess, our, our genius, Gingy Cohan. Um, I also want to thank Netflix, particularly Cindy Holland and Ted Sarandos um, for putting us on the air and I'm not being afraid to, to tell these amazing stories. We also need to thank Lionsgate and Piper Kerman on whose, uh, whose book inspired this wonderful um, television show. It is, it is Pride Week here, and I, I feel like I have to say, as we celebrate this wonderful show, and we celebrate the 45th anniversary of Stonewall, that it is so important for us to remember that when Sto the Stonewall riot happened, the patrons of Stonewall were lined up, and if you were not wearing at least three items of clothing associated with the gender that you were assigned at birth, you were arrested. Stonewall was... A, in a huge part about um, police misconduct, police brutality, and the criminalizing of gender nonconforming and trans people. And over 45 years later, trans identities are still being criminalized in this country. There is a young woman by the name of Monica Jones who was arrested and convicted on a charge of manifesting prostitution in Phoenix, Arizona, which basically means that if you are walking down the street in a certain neighborhood in Phoenix and you are a woman and you are dressed a certain way, you can be profiled as a sex worker and arrested. Monica Jones is appealing that unjust law and that unjust decision. And I, and I often wonder where are we as an LGBT community to help her. There are trans people fighting for their lives every single day, fighting for dignity like Janelle and Tyra did on a train in Atlanta, Georgia uh, last month, fighting for their lives and a sense of dignity. And I often wonder where are we as an LGBT community over 45 years after the Stonewall Rebellion. Sylvia Rivera, a true trailblazer, Make some noise for Sylvia Rivera. <laughs> Sylvia Rivera was present at the Stonewall Rebellion 45 years ago, and, and in 1973, 41 years ago, she had to fight to get on stage at the Pride Rally that year. She, as a trans person, a street queen, a hustler, who um, was at the forefront of this movement, she was being pushed out of the movement because the folks at the time felt she didn't represent the face that they wanted to show to the world about who LGBT people were. And Sylvia Rivera, so many years ago, warned us about becoming a movement that was only for white, middle-class people. And 45 years later, the most marginalized of our communities are still struggling. Trans, trans and LGBTQ people of color and working class folks are fighting for their lives. People are fighting for dignity in prison who are LGBT and particularly trans. So as we celebrate this show and this historic moment of 45 years since Stonewall, I just want to encourage us to ask ourselves, what more can we do to honor the legacy of Stonewall and the trailblazers who made it possible for us to be here? Thank you so much for this award. Thank you.